what's going on my boys yt dan getting in there once again with a brand new trading card game and today i have a special message this video has been sponsored by bushy road the people behind card fight vanguard reached out to me directly and wanted me to take a look at and try out their game so this is all because of your support and your views and your likes and your follows. So thank you guys so much for supporting me on this channel and let Bushy Road know that you wanna see more Card Fight Vanguard content on this channel by hitting that like button and downloading the Card Fight Vanguard app on your mobile device, Android and or iPhone. All right, my boys, we're gonna get in here and talk about Card Fight Vanguard Zero. This is a brand new trading card game that has been released into the app store and it, as a lot of you guys know we were talking about this game on a few different live streams especially last year we were all anticipating car fight vanguard zero's release now a lot of you guys have been waiting for me to make this video and we just happen to be so lucky enough and blessed and honored to have bushy road reach out for to us to access to get um my opinion and thoughts on the game and honestly, I want to introduce this to you guys in a proper way. You know, I've been kind of wrestling with how I want to make this video, but I think I finally figured it out. So what we're gonna do right now, boys, we're gonna talk a little bit about the game. We're gonna talk about how to play this game, and we're gonna talk about some of the strategic things about the game and what really makes this game fun. Now, the first thing I wanna mention that this game is 100% free to play, and I know that sounds insane, but it is 100% free to play because there is a crafting system that allows you to pretty much exchange like extra cards and other cards that you gain through different prizes and other methods to obtain other cards. So you can constantly grind out other cards, but you also have the option to buy cards directly from the shop you know, just like any other uh, trading card game. Outside of the free to play piece, is this is one of those TCGs that's based off of anime. And what I really like about Car Fight Vanguard versus any other trading card game uh, anime or trading card game card game that I play is that the story is based in a card shop. It's based around these folks that are coming to this card shop and the interactions between them. And there's just a lot of in jokes and a lot of just card game related things that only happen in card game shops. And if you are a person that goes to a physical shop, you get what I mean. Now, if you want to get that experience, the cool thing is you can go through the story mode. And of course you can actually watch the anime for free on YouTube. So I have a link for that in the description below. If you want to check out the anime, um, there's tons of free content and for content creators as well, there's free content like the Card Fight Vanguard uh, Zero banner and um, just this whole background and stuff like that. All this stuff is free on Bushy Road site, which is really, really awesome. Um, and I, yeah, those are just some cool things that I really like about this game. Now this game was released back in April and there's two main ways to play. You can either play ranked PVP or story mode. And in your ranked PVP mode, um, it's gonna be battle against other players, which is the point of going through the extra steps to build perfect decks so that you can make strong plays. And then also you have the story mode, which is more fun, more casual, gets you in touch with the anime and also teaches you how to play. Now the tutorial in this game is a beast. There's a lots of stuff that you need to learn about the game, but I'm about to give you boys a very quick insight on how this game is played, the decks and everything like that. Now we're gonna actually get in there and play this game. I'm gonna explain a few things to you as we go. So hopefully it doesn't move too fast. But honestly, this game can move pretty quick if you're not uh, paying attention. So I'm definitely gonna try my best to slow it down. All right, so as I mentioned to you before, our Vanguard is gonna be this middle card right here. Now with this game, you have a desktop mode and then you also got a 3D mode. Now you boys know I love 3D mode. So we're gonna rock 3D mode. Now this is our car, our Vanguard right here. And this Vanguard has an ability and it says uh, Forerunner, when rod, when rolled upon, move to one of your other places on the map. And at the end of the turn, this unit was used to boost the card you can draw a card and then return this card to the deck. 
So I'm going to explain all that as we go. So right now it's on our first turn. Since it's the first turn, we have to play a grade one card to ride our Vanguard. So let's ride the Vanguard right now, my boys. So we're going to use the Battle Sisters Chocolate. Battle Sisters Chocolate, ride Vanguard. That's it. It's just that easy. Now that the Vanguard has been ridden, my special effect activates and I get to move this card to a different space. Now, because it's a grade zero to one, these cards are all used as support. So I can move it directly under my Vanguard. And now it's going to support this Vanguard for an attack. So you're gonna be able to boost from 6,000 to 3,000, which is gonna give you a total, total attack power of 9,000. So similar to Yu-Gi-Oh, um, if the monster's attack is equal, the monster is destroyed. And additionally, if it's higher then you know the monsters destroy but you cannot destroy a vanguard as the vanguard is pretty much your avatar it is you in the game so because of this when the vanguard is damaged points are accumulated from the top of the deck so you have to do something called a damage check when you're activating your damage check pretty much you're going to check the top card and if that card is a trigger you're going to activate the trigger effect if not, it goes right into the damage zone, which is right over here, which has nothing. But since it's the first turn, I can't attack. So I have to pass my turn. Now I could play some extra cards, but I'm not gonna play the extra cards because on the first turn, it really doesn't serve any purpose. We need those for later. So we're gonna end the turn, my boy, and pass. And because it's a story mode, they have a little dialogue in between one another. So our opponent rides. And because it's the second turn, he can launch an attack. Now he's attacking with 8,000 on my 6,000. He did a drive check, nothing nothing to affect it. Damage check, draw trigger. Draw trigger means I get to draw a card because my card's effect was triggered when it was going to the damage zone. So I just pulled an extra card and I get boosted by 5,000 because each trigger typically has an attack point boost. Now. My turn, stand and draw. Now we're on the second turn. Because we are on the second turn, we can ride the Vanguard to our stage two. And because we are on second turn, we can play any stage two cards or below. So this is our first chance for an attack. So I'm gonna use this, ride the Vanguard. So I've ridden the Vanguard and now I'm in my main phase where I can play more. Call. It's basically a Samo. Call. Now, I've called three of my great beasts on grade two into play, and I also have these other level ones. Remember, we saved them from last time. I'll play it now. Call. Call. And because I've called them, they can support these creatures in my assault. Now, this monster only has 8,000 attack points, meaning all three of these monsters can defeat it easily. Plus the boost, he's finished. Time to take some damage. Now, typically you wanna save your Vanguard as the final attack. If you save the Vanguard for the final attack, the drive check can help to uh, change the game, or actually you wanna use the Vanguard more strategically based on the deck that you have or the situation. So sometimes you might attack with it first, but a lot of times I always attack with it last if, that's, if there's no other option saying I need to do one or the other. But as you get stronger playing the game, you'll understand. All right, my boys, let's get in there. I'm gonna attack with my Vanguard first because each attack is gonna give him a, a chance to boost by a minimum of 500 if he hits any triggers. So if he boosts by another 1,000 points, another uh, 10,000 points, he'll be at 18,000, meaning that either one of my creatures can be able to take him down. So I'm gonna swing with the weakest, which is 13. Drive check, nothing for me. Damage check, boosted 5,000. Now he's at 13. Now I'm gonna attack him again. 18, 18 is bigger than 13. Get those jammies clapped. Damage check, put him to 18 again. We're gonna do a third attack. Bam, that's three damage in one turn, boys. Three damage in one turn. And because we have grade twos sitting here, he's not gonna be able to attack our Vanguard directly. And because it's the end of the turn that my uh, grade zero monster attacked, 
I got to draw a card for free. So we're gonna get in there for game on the next turn. No. Now they use anime cutscenes to boost, uh, well they use anime cutscenes to illustrate the summons of very like important cards from the anime, which is pretty cool. And now he's called two of his own level twos. He used the effect of his blaster bait to destroy one of my guards. So now he's gonna be able to give me at least a minimum of two damage. Well, draw trigger. Boost him by 5,000 and draw an extra card. He's attacking me. Drive check, nothing. Damage check after I get hit. Oh, well he didn't have enough, boys. If you don't have enough points, it's just a oof. It's a wash. But you always attack with your vanguard anyway, because you attack with your vanguard, there's the chance, there's the opportunity that your drive can give an even bigger boost. Now, we're gonna ride our grade three, because this is our grade three turn. So this is our this is our main character. This is pretty much our blaster blade of the deck. So it's the CEO. It's the CEO of the Oracle Think Tank, my boys. I like that. Now this card is a critical trigger and it's and I'm basically getting the choice to put this on the top or the bottom. But because we're going to do a drive check when we attack, putting it at the top will be the best move. So placing it on top. Now, because it's a turn three, I'm gonna call a nor another CEO. We need more than one CEO. This is our tech CEO. This is our operations CEO, okay? And then it's, Number it's on our third turn, so that means we can play three and below. So I'm calling the, the level two, my boy. Now, because we got an open space, we're gonna go ahead and call our next card. And now it's gonna be time to battle. And do you remember what I put on top? It's gonna be a critical trigger, meaning when I swing and do damage, I'm gonna get two damage instead of one. And that's gonna be GG, no re, see you later. So I'm attacking right now. Tech CEO, be gone. Attacking with the assistant. Now, attack, Operation CEO. And I'm gonna get my two, I'm gonna get my two drives. I'm gonna get a drive check for two cards. One of them will be a critical trigger. And this is game. What a surprise. We're gonna boost this beast. We got an even stronger. Draw trigger two? Now we're plussing up and we're getting even bigger. There's nothing he can do. Get clapped. Get clapped. Operation CEO. Oof. Be gone. Be gone. It's, it's just that easy. That's all you have to do to play some card fight Vanguard. So it, it is pretty hype and it can get pretty fun, my boys. And I definitely feel like playing more in ranked PVP will definitely be more of an interesting uh, way to play because of course you're gonna be playing against a live person and uh, it's gonna be spicy. So that's it, my boys. That's pretty much how to play a game of card fight Vanguard Zero. And I really am glad that Bushy Row gave me the opportunity to talk about this game and show you how to play it firsthand. So overall, I really do like this game and I think that it'll be worth your time and investment as it is 100% free to play with the crafting system. Also, I do really enjoy using the triggers and using my deck and the cards in my hand and on the field to basically attack the opponent. It feels like I'm using an entire army rather than a few minor subjects here and there, my boys. But you can let me know what you think about this and you can let me know what you think about Card Fight Vanguard Zero in the comment section below. So I wanna thank Bushy Road for again, uh, giving me the opportunity to talk about and review their game. And I also wanna thank each and every one of you for supporting me and my content to make these collaborations possible. But as always, my boys, keep it dank. Lions, lions.